everybody, I'm HTR. Thank you guys for joining me on another video. Now, I took the bike out on the trail. It's what they call a shakedown. Some people might use different terms for it. The head tube was creaking. The bottom bracket was creaking. I guess I didn't grease it enough. And I also found that having one brake on a bike that weighs four pounds more than my previous bike is not enough. And I have the XTR two piston caliber and the bike came with a 203 in the front and a 180 in the rear. Well, I stuck a 160 in the rear thinking that the bike would act just like my old one. Well, I was completely wrong. So here's a little clip of me giving the bike the shakedown. Oh yeah, I hear a little noise coming from my bars. Felt like I was definitely more in control. Step right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw the four piston calibers that came on the bike. I'm even gonna throw them on the front. And when I do that, I'm also gonna upgrade the rotors as well. Get rid of the standard Shimano ones and go with a Ice Tech rotors from Shimano. And yes, I'm gonna be throwing them on the front. I'm not someone who rides with front brakes, but I will be going up north in about two months. So I'd rather have all the brakes already on and people gave me hell about it. Hey, why aren't you running with the front brake? Is it a jumper bike? No, it is not. I live in Florida. Now the majority of braking does come from the back. There's a myth that everyone uses more of the front brake. That's just not true. Let's start tearing it all down, put the new rotors and new calibers on, then we're gonna weigh the bike, and then I'll give you my opinion on the first shakedown. Now that I got the brakes off, these are the original four piston calibers that came on the Roscoe 9. These are the ones that I stuck on. XTR brakes, two piston for four piston. So in some sense, I'm downgrading to upgrade, if that makes sense to any of you guys. Now this is the part that's gonna sound crazy. This two piston XTR brake, the caliber and the lever, cost more than this four piston back and front combined. Let's go ahead and get these installed again back on the Roscoe 9. I'm gonna be taking off the 160 Ice Tech rotor that we stuck with the XTR brakes. Don't need that anymore. And we're gonna be going with the 180 in the back and the 20 in the front, 203 in the front. Now these are the original ones that came on the Roscoe. These should be lighter and keep your brakes cooler. And we're also gonna weigh them with the bolts so you guys can see what the weight difference is. Here we go. Standard rotors first. The 203, 180, the bolts, and the shims. Comes in at 342 grams. 203 Ice Tech rotor, 180 rotor, titanium bolts, 318 grams. That's 24 gram savings. Nice, let's go ahead and get installed in the bike.
I'm definitely gonna have to do another shakedown. So gotta make sure the brakes work. Now, when I did my first shakedown, the bike was great. I had no problems, I mean, besides braking and squeaking coming from the head tube and the uh, bottom bracket, but it was just fine. Now, another thing that I noticed was the geometry right away. Going down things that were sketchy before with the Marlin, they were not as sketchy as with the bike, and I don't even got the fork tuned or dialed in yet. Now, another thing that I noticed is that when I'm going downhill, it carries more speed. I don't know if it's because of the weight, but it seems to carry it longer than having a lighter bike. Now let's talk about what I don't like on the bike and it has pretty much nothing to do with how I got it. I'm gonna change the front tire. I'm gonna go a little more aggressive tire. I need a little more bite in the front. Remember I told you guys how it, it carries speed better? I feel like at some turns I'm not as confident as I should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a more aggressive tire. And let's talk about the handlebars. These are pretty, what I would consider XC bars. There's a 10 mil rise and they're 760 long. I feel like I should at least be at 35 to four, ah, yes, yeah, so let's say 35 rise. I think the factory bars, actually got them right here. The factory bars are 27 rise. I do like the rise of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and get race face next R carbon bars. I'm gonna change out the tire and I'm gonna change out the bars. I'm gonna give that a try, see how the bike feels. I definitely know the tire is probably gonna make the biggest difference. Oh, I forgot, let's weigh it. I'm thinking 27 pounds because last time I weighed it, it was 25 pounds and the factory pounds for this bike was 33 pounds. So let's see how much it weighs now. 27 pounds, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, 26 pounds, almost 27 pounds. If you guys like my video, give it a thumbs up. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel more than once, just go ahead and subscribe. Well, that's the end of the video. You guys know what that means. It's over.